Hello guys, so this is Sharvin Bosley back with another video and in this video we are going to check out the Gboard that's the Google keyboard and we are going to see if it's the best keyboard out there for Android so let's check out ok guys so this is the Gboard and I have opened it in keep so the first feature I am going to talk about is my most favorite feature and it's the glide type so when you go to type you just draw your fingers over the letters and it's so easy to type okay so the next feature is pointing the cursor location and you can move the cursor with the spacebar you just drag the spacebar to the left or to the right to move the cursor suppose I want to remove the second T from the word title so I just move my cursor to the left and I put the back key and that's how I remove the T instead of putting my big fingers on the little letters this thing is way more easier and the next feature I'm going to talk about is select and delete so you press on the backspace button and you just drag towards the left it selects the words it goes on selecting the words and then you leave your finger after you lift your finger it deletes the text selected okay so moving on to the next feature that's the emoji search you tap on the emoji icon on the left side of the space bar and you get a small search bar above the emojis so you tap on it and you just go on searching like if I want a thing, laughing emoji so it gives me laughing emoji done you don't need to go into all of the emojis and search for the laughing one you can just type over here like dance dance emoji it's so easy and the next feature I'm gonna talk about is to search GIF you tap on the same emoji icon then next to the emoji icon you get an icon saying GIF you click on it and then on the same looking search bar you can search GIF like good night if I search good night it gives me good night GIFs and it's so cool like you can share them on whatsapp and all now whatsapp is also supporting GIFs from Gboard that's a good news and the next feature I'm gonna talk about is punctuation with drag when you wanna put a punctuation mark for example if I wanna put an exclamation mark I have to tap on the punctuation thing then I have to put the exclamation mark and then I have to again tap on the letters thing and then I have to type the thing I have to type again so the easier way is to put your finger on the punctuation thing the thing on the bottom left corner and you just drag your finger over the punctuation you want like I, if I want to put a question mark I just drag over it and leave it and after putting the question mark it automatically returns to our normal keyboard so we can continue typing okay the next feature I'm gonna talk about is similar to the last feature it's capitalized letters with drag if you have to capitalize a letter you have to click on the caps lock button and then you have to click the letter instead of doing that you can just click on the caps lock button and drag the letter you want to put and that's one more easy way that helps to type faster okay coming up the next feature is translate on the go so you just click on the google icon on the top left of the keyboard and there you see a second icon showing Google Translate logo you just click on it and you select the languages I have selected from English to Portuguese and I'm gonna say hey hey what's up and here it has already been translated to Portuguese so you don't need to go to the translator then translate it 
then copy it and then paste it over here you can just go on the translate bar over here put any text translate it it's easy okay so the next feature i'm going to talk about is google search in the keyboard like you can search for google inside the gboard so suppose if your friend has asked you for some hotline address or something and you don't know the exact address you just click on the google icon over here then search suppose a poor white restaurant then you click on the search bar it gives you the results and you can just share with the blue icon over here coming up the next feature is delete suggestions if I think the suggestion given in front of the Google icon are irrelevant or I may not use them in the future, if I think that letter E shown by Gboard is irrelevant for me, I can just click and hold on it and move it on the dustbin and just leave it. It deletes the suggestion and it will not give me a suggestion again. Okay, coming up, one more cool feature is adding a number row. So you click and hold the comma button and then a setting bar appears you drag your finger over the settings bar and leave it then you go to gboard keyboard settings then you click on preferences then you just click on the number row you, you just add a number row and then you go back and there's a number row added you don't need to hold the letters and then wait for the numbers to appear this is way more easier to type numbers and the next feature is the coolest feature I have found on it is to draw and search emoji you go to the emoji icon and you click on the drawing pencil icon in the emoji search bar and you can just go on drawing an emoji and it will show up suggestions and yeah I got the emoji I wanted it's so cool okay guys so that's all what I think is cool about the Gboard and going back to our first question is it the best keyboard out there for Android right now? And yes, it is arguably the best keyboard out there for Android right now. And that's all with this video. And don't forget to hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel too. And comment down in the comment box if you find any other cool feature about the Gboard. See you in my next video.